please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. <laughs> Pagiging ang ating Panginoon, tayo na ikatitipon upang matutok at maharap sa pag-ibig na nakamdang Umay ay ilihagay niya sa dakilang Diyos In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the parable of Jesus today, the parable of the sower and the small seed, reminds us that everything starts with small beginnings. Let us then not be afraid to begin because Jesus will make everything small become bigger in God's time. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
you came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember the days past when, after you had been enlightened, you endured a great contest of suffering. At times you were publicly exposed to abuse and affliction. At other times you associated yourselves with those so treated. You even joined in the sufferings of those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property knowing that you had a better and lasting possession. Therefore, do not throw away your confidence. It will have great recompense. You need endurance to do the will of God and receive what he has promised. For after just a brief moment, he who is to come shall come. He shall not delay. But my just one shall live by faith, and if he draws back, I take no pleasure in him. We are not among those who draw back and perish, but among those who have faith and will possess life. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's requests. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. By the Lord are the steps of a man made firm, and he approves his way. Though he fall, he does not lie prostrate, for the hand of the Lord sustains him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in times of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them, because they take refuge in him. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Please stand. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow, he knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that, when it is sown in the ground, is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. We welcome in our midst our pilgrims this morning from La Presentacion Learning Center in Malolos, Bulacan. We have here celebrating with us little children together with their parents, their teachers, and their guardians. We welcome you in our celebration this morning here at the Manila Cathedral. Today, we hear in our gospel reading today, the parable of the mustard seed. The small seed that when planted grows into a large plant. My dear brothers and sisters, this parable, this story of Jesus reminds us today that everything starts small. Ang kwento ni Jesus tungkol sa maliit na buto nagsisimula lahat sa maliit. Nais ituro ni Jesus sa atin na lahat naman ay nagsisimula sa maliit bago pa man ito lumago at maging matagumpay. My dear brothers and sisters, the parable of the mustard seed reminds us today that everything starts small. And Jesus reminds those who are still beginning, He encourages you not to be afraid when you begin. Because everything started small. And he also reminds those who are already successful that you also started small. Pinapaalala po ni Jesus, lalo na po sa mga nagsisimula pa lamang, huwag ho kayong matakot at mangamba na magsimula sapagkat lahat naman ay nagsimula na maliit. At pinapaalala rin naman ni Jesus sa mga matagumpay na sa atin, huwag nyo naman ding kalilimutan, nagsimula rin kayo sa maliit. 
That is why in our first reading today, from the letter to the Hebrews, a good reminder also for those who are undergoing challenges in life, maybe worry and anxiety. The letter to the Hebrews reminds us that all of us are taught how to proceed and to continue with faith. Lahat tayo ay nagsisimula sa maliit, kaya sabi ng unang pagbasa natin, huwag matakot magpatuloy ng may pananalig. And the first reading also praises those who may be advanced already in faith not to forget those who are beginning small and little to encourage them to accompany them in faith. Huwag naman din daw sanang kalilimutan ng mga matagumpay na at ng mga malalakas na na patibayin din naman at palakasin ang loob ng mga taong nagsisimula pa lamang na maliit. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus reminds us today not to be afraid because everything begins small. And not to be overconfident and proud because you also started small. I think it was Jesus who sent us these little children this morning. Sa tingin ko, si Jesus talaga ang nagpadala sa inyo kasama ang mga maliliit na bata na kasama ninyo. Paalala sa amin, wag maging mayabang. Kasi nagsimula rin tayong lahat na maliliit na bata kagaya niyan. At gayon din naman, wag din naman tayong matakot at mangamba na nagsimula at magsimulang maliit. Sapagkat lahat naman tayo ay nagsimulang maliit. At lumaki at lumago tayo sa tulong lamang ng Panginoon. As we continue this celebration of the Mass, let us entrust everything to God. Whenever we feel that we are small, whenever we feel that we are just beginning, Jesus encourages you today, everything starts small. And whenever we have already achieved our success in life, let us be reminded by Jesus today that we have started small and everything becomes possible only because of God. Amen. Please stand. Full of hope and confidence, we make our prayer to God the Father, anxious for an increase of His presence in our life. For every petition, let us say, Divine Sower, make our lives fruitful. Divine Sower, make our lives fruitful. That the Church may continue to grow and be a symbol of justice, love, and truth in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Sower, make our lives fruitful. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God even in our difficulties and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Sower, make our lives fruitful. That families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Sower, make our lives fruitful. That the sick may be strengthened in their faith by uniting their sufferings with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Sower, make our lives fruitful. 
that our beloved dead may reap the fruits of peace, joy, and serenity in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Sower, make our lives fruitful. Heavenly Father, help us grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your word so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation, May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up 
for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With hearts like little children, let us now entrust ourselves to our loving Father in heaven. Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, we thank all our pilgrims who joined us in this celebration of the Mass this morning. We pray that Our Lady, the Immaculate Conception, may continue to pray for all the petitions that you have brought here in her home. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Oh!